From behind, a man is kissing a woman's neck. Suddenly, a young woman approaches and finds them doing it. She covers her mouth, showing her disapproval of what they're doing. She asks herself why they did it to her. She picks up her phone and starts to record. She then says that maybe she can do something about it. She carefully closes the door and then removes her knickers. Later, watching from the window, she sees the couple talking. She hears the young man saying that he might not be her husband, but he can definitely please her very well. The woman kisses him and says that they need to take advantage of their time together. Minutes later, the girl puts her knickers back on and walks inside. The couple hears her coming in. The woman then tells her partner to hide somewhere because it might be her daughter. The man runs away, trying to find a hiding spot, but the girl bumps into him and asks what he's doing in her house. The young man, named Fernando, says that he was just waiting for her. The girl asks how he knew she was arriving earlier from school. Fernando says that he decided to surprise her a bit. The girl nods. Her mother approaches holding a glass and tells her daughter that she wasn't expecting her to arrive so early and hands Fernando the glass of juice. The young girl then calls her mother by her name and says that she didn't tell any of them that she was going to arrive earlier. Her mother gets really angry and says that she should have called her Eva because she's her mother. The girl says that she's glad to hear her talking about respect. Her mother says that she's a good mother to her and that she deserves to be respected. The girl then confronts her mother and her partner, asking what they were doing in there. She takes a seat to listen to their excuses. Her partner says that she was just sitting quietly there, waiting for her. Her mother says that she was working a bit and just decided to make Fernando a nice glass of juice. The girl says that they look a bit tired. Fernando says that it's because it's a hot day. The girl asks why he's holding a cushion. Fernando says that it's just comfy. The girl says that she understands and proceeds to ask her mother to leave her alone with her partner, because she needs to talk about some private matter. Her mother asks if she's sure about it. Her mother says that she made it clear that she wouldn't allow any immorality in her own house. The girl laughs and tells her mother that she finds it funny to hear her talking about morality. She tells her mother that it will be quick, and she tells her to leave. Her mother refuses. The girl explains that it's really quick. Her mother leaves. Alone with her partner, the girl asks him the real reason why he came so early to her gaff. The man says that, as he told her previously, he was only trying to surprise her and spend some quality time with her. The girl says that she's very happy to know it. She says that in that case, they must have some fun together. Her partner says that they can't do it at her parents' house. The girl jumps on his lap anyway. Her toxic mother approaches and tells them to stop. The daughter confronts her and says that she told her that she wanted to be alone with her partner. Her mother says that she can't admit that kind of disrespect in her own house. The girl picks up her mobile phone and shows her the footage that she recorded of them shagging. The girl asks if they think she didn't see it. Eva says that it's not what it seems. Her daughter asks what her father would think if he saw that video. Her mother says that she wouldn't show it to him. The girl says that in that case, she must get on with serving them some food because she wants to spend some time with her partner. Her mother says that she can't be her servant. The girl says that it's easy to fix it by letting her father know. The mother says that she can do what she asks and begs her not to mention it to her father. The girl says that it's fine and waves her goodbye. Her mother leaves. The girl then continues to seduce her partner. Later, the couple sits next to each other. The girl's mother approaches them and puts two plates of food on the table. The girl picks up the plates and puts them next to her and her partner. Her mother says that that was her breakfast and that they already ate what she served them previously. Her daughter says that she doesn't care. The mother says that she can't disrespect her own mother like that. Her daughter ignores her and tells her partner to take a bite. The girl says that that's not all. She says that she has loads of homework to do and clothes to wash, and that she should crack on doing that for her. Her daughter says that she's now her personal slave. The mother says that she won't force her to do that and that what she did was just a mistake. Her daughter says that she definitely will. She bites the bun her mother prepared and says that it tastes very bland and that she should have cooked something nicer for breakfast. She invites her partner to follow her, and they leave together. The mother tells herself that she can't believe she's being controlled by a girl. She promised to do something about it. Days later, Fernando takes a chance to talk in private with his partner's mother while she's in her bedroom. She explains that she can't live without her. The mother says that her daughter knows about them. 
he says that she can't resist her. They then start to kiss each other, but the girl catches them doing it. She hugs her partner and asks why he arrived earlier again. Her mother asks why she's dressed like that. The girl asks what she's on about. Her mother says that she means her short clothes. The girl asks her partner if he likes it. Her partner says that he does. The girl tells her mother that she bought it to use it for her partner in her bedroom. Her mother says that she can't and that her father hates her being alone with men. Her daughter says that her father is in another country and that she didn't think about her father when she decided to have an affair with her partner. She tells her mother to stop sticking her nose in their lives and instead prepare them something decent to eat. She leaves her angry mother behind. Moments later, the girl tries to seduce her partner. She then decides to call her mother. Her mother approaches and asks what she needs. The girl tells her to have a seat because she needs to tell her something important. Her mother sits in a chair. Her daughter then says that she wants some really good food to eat, like chicken and an apple pie for dessert. She says that she also needs a thousand dollars because she's going on holiday with her partner. Her mother tells her to stop taking advantage of her. The girl says that she was the one who took advantage of her partner. She tells her mother to hurry up because she's hungry. Suddenly, the mother receives a call from her husband. The daughter tells her to hurry up and answer it. The woman picks it up and refers to her husband as her love. Her husband tells her to cut the crap. His wife asks what he's on about. Her husband says that she's banned from his house. He asks her if she thought he didn't know she was cheating on him. The woman denies it. Her husband says that she can stop acting because he isn't stupid to go abroad without having something to protect him against that. He says that he already suspected that she was cheating. He explains that he installed a bunch of cameras in the house. Eva asks her daughter if she knew it. The girl says that she didn't. The man tells his cheating wife to tell her daughter that she's going to boarding school abroad. He also tells her to hurry up, take her stuff out of the house, and leave. His wife says that it was all a misunderstanding and that he can't do it to her. The girl then asks her partner if she's going to stay with her. Her partner says that he doesn't want to get involved. Her girl mother starts to cry and explains to the girl that her dad evicted her from the house. She says that she doesn't know what she's going to do and walks away, crying. The man starts to cry and his partner tries to comfort him. Later, he receives a call. He picks it up and tells the person on the phone that it's all fine. He thanks the person and celebrates as he hangs up. Days later, the woman goes to the location where her lover lives. Her lover asks what she's doing there. Eva says that she really missed him and that she is really in love with him. Fernando says that he also loves her. He says that he was also looking for her, but he didn't know where to find her. He explains that he also missed her a lot. The woman says that it was excruciating. She asks if he would like to try something with her now that she's all alone. The man says that he would love it because that would make him the happiest man in the world. He says that, in fact, he will be able to give her a comfortable life because he has some money, something around $50,000. The woman says that it's unbelievable. The young man says that he would love her to help him invest it wisely. The woman says that she would love it and proceeds to hug him.